Hi everyone, this is the Weather Hazard Briefing from the National Weather Service Office in Pocatello, Idaho for Wednesday, February 22nd. We do have some breezy winds out there this morning and once again some more snow that is currently ongoing and uh, going to continue on and off basically through the rest of the day today, even into parts of Thursday and Friday for some of us. So we're going to go ahead and talk about all of that. So some of those key points, already a little bit what I just touched on, snow is still ongoing this morning. Totals are expected to be light for most of us, um, but we're still expecting um, some higher snow totals still for parts of the southern hills and eastern highlands as we go throughout the day today. Breezy winds, um, generally speaking, we've had gusts about 20 to 35 miles per hour, some isolated gusts a little bit higher than that, especially uh, up north. Um, some gusts there closer to about 45 miles per hour or so. Those are mainly going to be strongest through the morning. Um, again, behind that cold front that's coming through this morning, and then those will back off as we go into this afternoon. We do still have some road closures at the time of this recording. Make sure you check the Idaho 511 website for the latest information on that, um, as some of those may be reopened or um, other impacts. Light snow showers and cold wind chills are in store for us throughout the day on Thursday. Some of that light snow continues even into Friday. Here's a look at satellite for the Pacific Northwest this morning. Now, uh, the main uh, system is down to our south. Uh, of course, Salt Lake has gotten quite a bit of snow. All that moisture has uh, also been working its way up into parts of the uh, southern hills and into the eastern highlands. That continues today. That's where we're expecting some of those higher snow totals. Uh, but we did see that convergence band set up across parts of the Snake Plain this morning. So if you uh, wake up and notice a light dusting of snow out there, that would be why. Of course, we always uh, appreciate any snow reports that you can send our way. Social media is a good way to send those in. We do still have some watches and warnings advisories out there. Um, in fact, the uh, winter storm warnings up in the northeastern part of Idaho are going to continue. Um, but the winter storm warnings in the southeastern corner are going to be replaced with uh, winter weather advisories uh, a little bit later this morning. So just a heads up on that. Again, that's where we're expecting some of the higher snow totals. So that's why the southeast highlands and eastern highlands are still in that moderate range. Uh, and as far as uh, snow totals go, that's where we're expecting some slightly higher amounts. Um, parts of the Bear River Range, well, we'll talk about totals a little bit more, but could see some about four to six more inches of snow or so. Um, the rest of us, again, snow totals will be fairly light, basically another inch or two. Uh, breezy winds do continue today. Uh, things will be much improved as we go into Thursday and Friday, mainly just some light snow showers on and off throughout the day. Uh, winds will be lighter in general, too. Saturday looks to be probably the quietest day of the next several, because then late Sunday into Monday, we've got another system that's going to be headed our way, but... Uh, we'll wait a little bit longer before we start talking a bit more about that one. So wind gusts uh, through the rest of this morning into the afternoon. Again, we've seen some of the stronger wind gusts farther north, uh, up to about 45 miles per hour or so. Some isolated gusts stronger than that, not out of the question. Uh, from Pocatello to Idaho Falls, looking more so like some 25 to 35 mile per hour gusts. Um, and then into parts of the Magic Valley, also seeing some 20 to 25 mile per hour gusts and up to about 30 mile per hour gusts through parts of the southern hills. Wind chills for the rest of today. Well, it is cold out there this morning, so if you're watching this this morning, make sure you bundle up before you head out the door. Uh, we will warm up a bit as we go into the afternoon, um, but again, not exactly a, uh, a warm day for us. But wind chills we've seen already down to about negative 25 or so up north. And uh, that'll continue for the next couple hours this morning. So here is one model output of uh, what the radar could look like as we go throughout the day today. Although, got to admit, models have not been uh, doing great handling some of this uh, convergence band that we've seen. Doing their best, and so we're doing our best with the information we've got. Just in general, we're going to see some snow showers on and off throughout parts of the area today. Um, with more of that snow falling through parts of the uh, southeastern and eastern highlands and into parts of the southern hills. So uh, we're trying not to uh, live and die by one model, but again, this just kind of gives you a look at what it could look like. As far as more snow uh, totals, again, uh, down in the southeastern corner of the state is where we are expecting to see more snow throughout the day today, or at least the higher totals. 
closer to about four to six inches down near Montpelier, uh, two to three near Soda Springs and Preston. And um, you get closer to Albion, we could see uh, well, some more snow down that way too, another two to three inches or so. Uh, of course, that's good news for Pomerel. <laughs> They'll get a little bit more snow as we go throughout the day today. Um, but overall, for most of us, fairly light snow totals. Some of the higher elevations picking up one to two inches. Again, outside of those areas, it'll see a little bit more that I just mentioned. High temperatures as we get into this afternoon, ranging from single digits up north where it is colder in general and a little bit breezier to uh, mid-teens through Idaho Falls and Blackfoot, McCammon, Soda Springs, to some low and mid-20s in the uh, lower Snake Plain and into parts of the Magic Valley. Good news, though, we are going to warm up a bit more as we go through the next couple of days. So winds will start to back off as we get into this afternoon and evening. Uh, we'll still see some gusts up to about 35, 40 miles per hour, but uh, overall much lighter in comparison, and of course much lighter in comparison to yesterday's winds. Uh, by later this evening and tonight, winds will be gusting about 15 to 20, 25 miles per hour for most of us. And it stays pretty similar to Thursday morning, but you'll notice that northern area winds back off quite a bit by that point. Gusts closer to about 15 to 20, 25 miles per hour. Keep in mind, though, with colder air already uh, in the area by tomorrow morning and even just a little bit of wind with gusts up to about 15 to 20 miles per hour, it's going to make it feel much colder. We'll likely see wind chills negative 20 to negative 30 up north and uh, a bit larger area than what we're seeing this morning. So likely see some uh, wind chill warnings uh, out there. Probably issue those uh, later today. As far as Thursday, actual temperatures in the morning, they'll be <laughs> in the negatives for most. And those of us that are uh, above zero, well, mainly single digits. By Thursday afternoon, it'll still be chilly. A lot of teens and 20s for those afternoon highs. But by Friday, we slowly start to warm up. You'll see a few more 20s, a few more 30s showing up on the uh, map there. And by Saturday, most of us in the mid to upper 20s to low and mid 30s. Some of us could even make a run at that 40 degree mark by the time we get to Saturday afternoon, especially in the lower Snake Plain and uh, parts of the Magic Valley. So keep in mind, we do still have some snow showers ongoing this morning. Overall totals are expected to be fairly light. The higher snow totals will be through parts of the Southern Hills and uh, Southeastern Highlands especially. Winds have been breezy this morning and will stay a bit breezy throughout the day today with gusts generally 20 to 35 miles per hour, but some gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour, especially up north, not out of the question. Uh, make sure you check in with Idaho 511 for the latest information on any road closures or impacts there. Light snow showers continue on Thursday. And it is still going to be uh, very cold as we start off Thursday morning. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always uh, reach us via email, phone call, um, or catch the latest information online or on social media. Otherwise, have a great day and stay warm.